All right. Uh, appreciate everybody coming. Uh, we're looking forward to, you know, another tough game. This is going to be a very uh, uh, interesting game for us. You know, I think Texas State is playing really, really well defensively. When you look at their games, I mean, they're in almost every game. They held Georgia Southern to 15 points, and uh, Georgia Southern did not run the ball well against them. Uh, very good defensive football team. They play with a lot of speed, uh, a lot of different schemes defensively, uh, a lot of drop eight and drop nine even into coverage sometimes, uh, so they can cause the quarterback a lot of problems. And then uh, <coughs> offensively, you know, they're a very young football team. They keep getting better. And uh, I think the last game probably played one of their better games. So we're going to have to play extremely well on offense to get the points that we need. Uh, and obviously, we need our defense to play much better than we have the last couple of weeks if we're going to have a chance. I told our players this is really a character game is what this comes down to. It, your character gets exposed when you get into periods of the season like we're in right now, no matter what your record is. But especially when your record is where we are, your character really gets exposed. So that's what's going to happen this Saturday and this week in practice. And um, looking forward to seeing which one of our players step up and, uh, and become stars. Any questions? How do, you, how do they respond to that? Like, do they do they sense the same th concerns? That you, Our players? Yeah. Well, I I haven't seen them today. You know, we said today's Sunday. first practice. Sunday, obviously, the defensive guys. I think it's it's really interesting. It's, you know, football is an interesting sport because you know in basketball everybody plays offense and defense, right? And you know, in football you have one side's offense, one side's defense, and sometimes it can get to be like you're coaching two different teams. Right now, our offensive players are very confident, and they're playing with a lot of emotion, a lot of enthusiasm. They're very unselfish. Uh, Josh has had a lot to do with that. And when you find a good leader, it becomes contagious, and it's become contagious on the offensive side of the ball for us. Now everybody wants to be like him and wants to lead, and so we're having a lot of that. And you know, defensively, we're just struggling. We're not playing with the confidence that we should with nine starters returning from last year. And uh, so. You know, it's a fine line, Jason. You know, I want to make sure that I'm honest with the defensive guys about where we are statistically and where they've got to improve. But I also want to give them hope because we're doing some really good things defensively at times too. We're just not doing them consistently enough to play like we need to play. So I think they'll respond. This has been a really um, – it's been a challenging team to coach from that aspect of the success we had last year and handling that. And we didn't handle that well in early year. I've mentioned that before. Um, but they've been a good group of kids. You know, we don't have, you know, egos and selfish kids and those type of things. We don't have that at all. We just got a group that's trying to find themselves, particularly on defense. And uh, so hopefully we'll take a step forward this week. I don't want to like belabor the point about the defense, but it just seems like running defense, they're not getting the penetration that you did last year or even earlier in the season? Like. Uh, you know, I, I would say the defensive line is playing pretty good. I mean, we really are. I and mean, we're pushing people back. We're just – you know, we've got unblocked linebackers that aren't making plays. And uh, that's really most of our problem. And safeties, you know, misses some tackles too. But, uh, you yeah, know, probably really hasn't been up front, honestly. We, we've played pretty good up front for the most part. Are they pretty simplified as the season has gone along? Or are they still doing as many things as they did last year? Uh, you know, we're, I mean, we're trying to be, you know, pretty much what we were last year. You know, we, we would like to pressure people. Um, obviously, when you play an option team like Georgia Southern, you can't pressure as much as what you would normally. Um, but, you know, a lot of that is dictated on down and distance. And, you know, you've got to do well on first down and second down and put people in third and long. And that's our problem right now. I mean, Georgia Southern was 50% on third down. We haven't done very well on third down defensively because they're in a lot of third and shorts, you know, third and more medium. And uh, we got to play better on first and second down, which goes back to your point about the run. If people run the ball successfully on you on first and second down, they're going to be in third and short all day. I know you don't really, you, know, you don't like to look more than a game ahead, but have you had any conversations with the guys about maybe what is on the table if you are able to win the next four games? No, Colin, I really haven't. I'm just, you know, man, I'm just trying to get them through today, <laughs> you know, practice today. And uh, uh, I don't know, you know, I, I do have a great ability to just stay in the moment and uh, not get too high, too low and all those type of things. I think that's what our players need to focus on. I think it's why we've improved offensively. Our guys have bought into just getting better 
and we've gotten better as the year's gone on here, season's gone on, getting better day by day at every position, not just the quarterback. Um, so, you know, our guys just need to stay and get one win and then go from there. Do you see any similarities between your, your team and Texas State? I mean, he, he took over a, a group of someone else's players, and you have, now he has his own guys, and it seems like they're competitive, but they just haven't won yet. Like, is that part of, like, building a team like that you went through kind of? Yeah, I, I'm not real familiar with everything that ever went through when he took the program over. I, I know Dennis Franchoni had laid a pretty good foundation there and had some successful years. So, I, um, but you know, winning college football games is difficult at any level. You know, you have to have a lot of things go right. And uh, yeah, I would tell you the biggest thing is you, you've got to have the right group of people. You know, it's not necessarily the most talented group, but you've got to have the right group. You got to have leadership at the right places. You gotta have talent at the right places. You gotta stay healthy, you know. And and the biggest thing, and I keep talking about it to our guys and and you guys too, is you got teams that are successful are teams that keep improving as the season goes along. You know, when you look at teams that struggle, it's always because they're pretty much what they were in the first game, or you know. And that's a sign that you're lacking somewhere. Um, but I think you know what I see from them defensively is a much better football team than they were last year. Um, and it's pretty much the same guys. You know, they've got a lot of the same guys back, but they've changed the scheme a little bit to help their players. I think they just got them playing really hard, and uh, they're playing with a lot of enthusiasm on defense. And again, they're playing with a freshman quarterback too, so they get growing pains on offense also. But I would tell you, he keeps getting better and better and better, and uh, and he's a tough, tough kid. I mean, he's taking some shots against different people, but uh, tell you what, he doesn't back down. Coach scoring 31 offensively last week against a really good defense. You did stuff that other teams haven't done at Georgia Southern. What did your offense show you last week? Well, I th thought we had really good balance. We ran the ball very well. Uh, we threw the ball extremely well. Uh, we got a lot of explosion plays that Georgia Southern hadn't been giving up on other people. You know, there's only two teams that have scored 30 on them. It's us and Clemson. So it's a pretty good company to be in. They've been a very good defensive team. But, uh, you know, again, I felt really confident going into that game, Adam, because of the way our Offensive kids had prepared and the, just kind of the, the stride that they've got going right now. Um, so, I, but that's what I saw. You know, we were able to create explosion plays. We were able to get the ball into our playmakers' hands. We had a lot of wide receivers that made explosion plays, runs after the catch. And, uh, you know, again, we, we ran the ball well. We changed our running scheme a little bit just for them or to run a little stretch zone, get a little bit wider. Uh, and it, it worked effectively for us. The turnovers in the second half, is it just a matter of trying to do too much and play catch up there? No, you know, that was the only disappointing thing I told the offense players. You know, that's what, especially when your defense is struggling, you can't turn that ball over because that's the other team's going to score now And when you do that. And to start the second half like that was really disappointing because, you know, we took the ball to start the first half because of the confidence I had in the offense and we scored twice. You know, and had we come out and scored, you know, one of those possessions in the second half, you know, you're still in the game. But when you don't, and those are the only two possessions that we didn't score for the for the whole second half, too. You know, we scored on every other possession. So the only time we got stopped was when we stopped ourselves. Uh, but, you know, the one, Josh really didn't even get hit. He was just getting ready to throw, and the ball came out of his hands, and it's a fumble. And the interception he threw uh, was the typical freshman interception, you know, for a quarterback. He just threw the ball too late. He was throwing it at the right place, but he threw it too late. And uh, I think a little bit for him, uh, and we got him settled down during the second half, but he went through a little phase there in the second half where he kept looking at the scoreboard and thinking, you know, I got to score every time, you know, and we got him back in to just throw completions, get first downs, and the scores come naturally. And he, he got back to that and, uh, and played well. So, uh, you know, we, we do need to eliminate the turnovers, particularly the fumbles. I mean, you're going to have interceptions at times, but we've had – I think that's three fumbles. Josh had all three of them in the last two games, and uh, you know we can't we can't do that. What kind of like what kind of Georgia Southern was like seemed like cover four or something, so you're able to run the ball, and then pick your pick your spots, throw the ball. What what kind of what does Texas State do? Yeah, Texas State is really unique in that uh, it's a three man front, you know, three four defense, um, but they have the ability to drop eight into coverage quickly. But they also have the ability to get those outside linebackers back up to the line of scrimmage and, you know, and have seven in the box again. So, um, 
you know, we'll rely on the quarterback to put us in the right look, determining what he sees uh, at times. And then at times, we're just going to have to line up and, you know, call the run and stay with it, call the pass and stay with it. But you got to be very patient with them. You're not going to get many deep throws on them. They're not going to play a lot of man coverage, one-on-one -on -one stuff. Um, you know, and again, they're going to have safeties that are pretty deep to keep the the deep ball from going over their head and those type of things. So it's one of those games you've got to make first downs and, and keep drives going. Ken, you got any questions for Coach? Uh, yeah, I, uh, you talked a little bit about changing up the scheme offensively last week with your running game and whatnot. Is there anything you can do schematically on defense, or is it strictly a matter of just executing better as far as trying to stop the run? Yeah, I think it's it's mostly just execution, Ken. You know, we've uh, you know we are what we are on defense, and, and uh, you know we're just trying to get better. Um, you know, and again, we had people in some really good positions to make plays, and we just didn't make the plays uh, last week. And, you know, some of it is, you know, to me, and this is me, not defensive coaches talking, I, great defensive teams to me play with great enthusiasm uh, because, you know, defense is a little bit different than offense. If one guy makes a mistake on offense, the play's probably dead. You know, one guy can make a mistake on defense, and if the other 10 are playing with enthusiasm and passion and speed, you never even know that mistake occurred. And that's what I'd like to see our guys get back to, is playing with that confidence, playing with a little swagger, and, and uh, play like they're capable of. So, you know, that's going to be my message to them today, and hopefully we can get to that.